Hey, it's Steve. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Bachman Norman Rockwell's Main Street Christmas trolley set. Alright, so we'll go ahead and unbox this set here. So this is an OM30 trolley running on HO scale track and it's set up as a point-to-point -point system with an auto reversing feature. So it'll run the length of the track, stop, reverse, run back to the other side, stop, reverse, and just keep doing that indefinitely. What also is a little bit different about this set is that it is battery powered. So you're not plugging into an AC outlet at all. Instead, you have a battery pack that is powered by some AA batteries. But one thing you will notice is that this setup does use a USB adapter. And I think this is four AA batteries, so it's gonna be six volts, but you can probably run it on five volts, which is what USB-A normally is. And so the nice thing here you have is that you have a regular USB plug. And so you can plug this into the battery adapter here that runs on AA batteries, but you're also gonna be able to power this off of any standard USB power bank you might have for charging up your tablet or phone or whatever that has an old USB-A adapter on that. So that makes it pretty flexible and you can get some pretty you know, long lasting power banks that will power this thing probably for many, many days uh, if you do go ahead and plug it into one of those bigger USB power banks. But you also can just use standard AA batteries. If you do want long life, Go ahead and get lithium batteries. They'll last you a few times longer than your standard uh, Duracell AA type batteries or something like that. So that is an option as well. Anyway, we have a bundle of straight track. We have six track pieces, one that actually has the power adapter to it. So you have to obviously make sure you use that piece. You have two bumpers for the ends, and then you have a selection of four curved pieces. So you can make a windy route with your track, but you can't make a full circle with this. And then we have the standard Bachman OM30 trolley. They have this trolley in a lot of different versions. This one here is, again, the Norman Rockwell version, and so has the Christmas decorations on it and paintings and so forth. They make different OM30 trolleys, different color schemes and that kind of thing that you can buy. But this one, again, is in that Christmas theme. You do also get a set of instructions and other information here, which I'll just go ahead and ignore. The reason for me buying this set is that we have started collecting some various uh, Lego building sets. We have a bunch of Harry Potter buildings, like Hogsmeade Village buildings. We also have some regular Lego Christmas Village buildings. And so we can kind of combine all of those into a display on a shelf. And so that's what we're gonna do with this, is have a, just a shelf display with some you know, Lego buildings on there and that'll be kind of a Christmas-themed train display. Anyway, let's go ahead and set up some of these tracks. Now, one thing you do have to be careful of with this is that they do have to be plugged into a certain direction, apparently, so I'm not sure this says A and B. The track sections all say A on both sides, so I think these do not matter. Okay, so there is a, a B section. So the sequence is that you have the bumper going to the BA track, and then you have the other AB track with the power connected to the bumper as well. So it's these sections here that apparently have a circuitry which will reverse the, uh, the train, or, in the, or the trolley in this case. So let's make sure the bumpers go to these straight sections. So one thing I don't like about the Bachman Easy Track relative to say Kato Unit Track or whatever, is that it's very, very easy to bend these rail joiners out of shape to where you're not gonna get a good electrical connection between the sections. However, if you have a coffee stirrer, I have a video on this, I'll put a link somewhere to it, but you can get a, uh, your standard coffee stirrer you'll get from, you know, any place that gives you a cup of coffee typically. It's about the right size where you can put it in the rail joiner, take a small player, pair of needle nose pliers and crimp the rail joiner back around that coffee stirrer, pull it out. It'll be just the right size for it to, uh, you know, give you a secure connection because if the rail joiner is loose and if you basically connect the track and try to disconnect it by going up and down or too far side to side, you will make that rail joiner loose, looser and looser with time. And it's just not gonna really work well for you in terms of providing a good electrical connection. So this track is fine for uh, setups where you're not going to really take it apart and put it back together many, many times. 
but over time they will get loose and you are going to have degraded connections that aren't going to perform as well for you. But again, if you do crimp these tighter, you will have a better connection. And then you can also replace these as well. You can get packets of rail joiners that will work here and you can swap these out with new ones that'll work better. If you are going to be looking at a more permanent display that you're not really going to change, maybe just have it attached to a shelf that every year you're going to use the same exact setup. I would go ahead and if you're able to solder these rail joiner connections on the outside of each connection and that'll give you good electrical conductivity since you only do have the one power lead coming into this track setup. So this setup here is probably about five feet long. Uh, each one of these straight sections is nine or ten inches. And so you can see here, you, you're going to have the potential to have a fairly long display track. I'm not sure what the official length is of everything is connected together, but you're going to have something in the neighborhood of eight feet, I think. So you can have a nice display with your trolley going through uh, a nice long shelf. Obviously, you can uh, probably pick up more of these track sections separately and expand your display and make it dramatically longer if you wanted to do that. Well, anyway, I'll try to use this battery pack here and see how that works. You have to unfortunately unscrew the cover, which is always frustrating. Use four AA batteries and then go ahead, plug that in here. And there's an on -off, a single on off switch here, which will control things. Try to back out a little bit here. Go ahead and turn this on and see how that works. So it should go to each end, stop, pause, and then reverse back the other direction. And as, as I said, you can use any battery bank that you might have to power this instead of the AA batteries. Uh, so this is a nice rechargeable battery bank that will uh, power my laptops. I can charge it multiple times. So one of these battery packs should drive this trolley for a very long time. I mean, probably multiple days of continuous running, I would expect. And you can see no problems at all using the battery bank. So I really, really, really like having the USB adapter on this setup because that really makes it very flexible. There is thousands of different battery banks you can buy and power this setup with and then recharge these so you don't have to worry about wasting AA batteries. And so here's a closer look at the actual detail on the car itself. So anyway, that's a look at the Bachmann ON30 trolley with the Norman Rockwell paint theme on it. So if you are setting up a Christmas Village type display and you don't have room for a full loop of track, uh, this is an option to consider. This nice point-to-point -point setup works great. You know, you can use a battery pack, you can use a, you know, battery bank for your phone or tablet that you have handy around the house as well. So different ways to power it. And so it can be a very versatile setup for those spots like maybe on top of the fireplace mantle or something like that where you don't maybe have power available right there you can set it up using the battery and it will work pretty nice for you so i'll have a few links below in the description to where you might be able to pick one of these up but be sure to look around check out different sales that might be happening here leading up to christmas if you are trying to get something a little bit cheaper as well and i will have a follow-up video whenever we finally get our little lego display set up and you can take a look at what that looks like with this trolley. But uh, anyway, that's all for now, and thanks for watching. Bye.